Hi, welcome to Renee Marie Stroke of Luck. I'm Renee Marie, take two. <laughs> um, today we have the honor and privilege to have a Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike Evangel is here with us and Fred Dumbrow. They're here to talk about watermelon tourmaline. It's really an exciting, holistic, I believe it's holistic, can I call yes, it holistic? Yes. Holistic organic? Uh, organic? Organic, oh, holistic, organic yeah, holistic and organic. Um, uh, yeah. Mineral, that's the word, mineral. Um, I met Dr. Mike a few years ago, uh, approximately a year ago. Um, uh, no, two years ago, I got hit by a car and I had an injury on my knee and a really good friend of mine, Rosanna, she said to me, I usually don't like to recommend anybody, but I have a great chiropractor. His name is Dr. Mike. She gave me his name and number. Um, I called him. He was incredible. In, in his care and his compassion and, and really the focus was my recovery. That was the focus on my uh, visit to him. It wasn't about the money, it wasn't about the insurance, it wasn't about anything. That was all important of course because we all have to make money when we're doing our, uh, our work um, but that wasn't the main focus. The main focus was really finding out a lot about my history and, and recovery and how he could support me to recover. Um, so laying the groundwork for that, um, he then came to me one day and said, wow, I got this wonderful, I met this guy and he's working on this tourmaline stuff and, and you really have to try it because it's good. And they called me and they put on an arm brace and they put on a leg brace um, and, they, um, and we actually set up a meeting to go out to lunch. Um, but because my, uh, Dr. Mike was the way he was and I knew his authenticity in helping people, um, I really took a lot of credibility in Fred's work. Um, so, so we went out to lunch and, uh, and we uh, talked about the tourmaline and the watermelon tourmaline and, and we talked about the history that Fred had um, getting him to that point. Let me introduce them both and then we'll work a little bit into uh, the storyline. Dr. Mike. How are you? I'm doing fine today, thank you. Good, good. And this is Fred, Fred Dumbrow. How are you? Good, good. So as we were saying, talk a little bit about, because like we were saying in the break, um, in the green room, uh, I think it's really important to share with people how we get to the point we are to so add some credibility to, um, and to our work that we're doing. Um, I actually just did another show the other day, and um, it was a friend of mine. She wrote a book. Um, and, and really through the process of talking to her, we understood how she had the, the, um, the knowledge to write this book because of her history and her past. So I know that you used to work for your family's textile business. Tell us a little bit about that. So I'm a uh, third generation uh, textile uh, manufacturer. Uh, my father and grandfather started the business. Uh, they both worked in Brooklyn and then uh, in the late 40s into uh, 1950 and then went from Brooklyn and bought a place in Patterson where we started coral dyeing and finishing. Mm -hmm. And my, uh, both my grandfather and father were brilliant textile engineers. Uh, my father was absolutely amazing, Fred Sr., in building and designing most of the equipment in the factory to reduce labor and to produce better quality fabrics. Right. So we did a lot of dress wear, a lot of bridal gowns, uh, menswear linings, uh, outerwear, nylons, polyesters, all different types of textile right. fabrics. Right, 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 right. And uh, through that, the chemistries that are applied, uh, let's say even like outerwear, for water repellencies right. and fire retardants for theater curtains mm -hmm. and uh, all different types of performances, right. seam slippage, and leading me into uh, developing better bacteria killing chemistries for medical scrubs and doctor's coats. And that's what's led me to healing products. Right, right. Um, now, you know, when you would think of a textile industry when they're making fabrics, you would ne I would have never have thought of uh, killing bacteria. I would have never have thought that that's something that has to be 
in the process of, of, of doing. That's very interesting right. to me. Now, uh, I did have a customer come to me in the medical scrub business. And uh, when they approached me, I was happy to do the business for them. Uh, but I was disturbed because they were insistent on using uh, what's called an antimicrobial. And the doctor will get into exactly what, what antimicrobials yes. are and what they do. Uh, they had a chemistry that uh, was not safe. And I knew it was. <laughs> now, getting back to right. the way I stumbled onto what okay. we're here for today. Okay. So I started working with the medical scrub company. And they wanted to recommend this triclosan, which is a leaching poison. And it's banned in Canada and in Europe. It's been banned for over 10 years. But it's allowed in the United States. Is until that? September. Until, yes. Is that, so that? I persistently stuck with it and came up with a better product. Now, what we use in the success to the healing products we have really started with the antimicrobial called a quaternary. And that was developed by Dow chemists in the 70s. Explain to our audience what antimicrobial is before we... Well, antimicrobial is bacteria killing. They want okay. The idea is any type of microbes, anything that's yeah, even airborne that lands on a substrate. You know, you look at curtains, you look at scrubs, anything... Uh, bed sheets uh, with fibers is an actual magnet, has a little magnetics that will pull this out of the air and naturally land. And you'll see dust on curtains and right, right, things. Right, and, right, right, right. And so it's a magnet to well, dust. And because of negative and positive charges. That's, that's correct. Okay. So what I had done is researched a better antimicrobial. Now, the problem was what I researched had no durability on fabrics and fibers. So with my knowledge of textiles, I developed a bonding agent to make the quaternary a superior product and more durable on fabrics and fibers. What's a quaternary? Quaternary is I'm just a, trying to understand. No, well, and that's good. That's a different type of antimicrobial. Now... The doctor had mentioned this, these are nano spikes. So these are microscopic spikes. It's called a mechanical kill versus leaching poisons. Wow. So these microscopic. I, I really just wanted to help the audience understand what it is that we're doing right. because, I mean, it's, it's so in depth and technical and really behind the scenes kind of stuff that most people don't involved with it they just go buy it they wear it they do this they right. do that but they don't understand the, the health technology the technology and the health that it's the health issues it's right. causing well, the, so the good thing about this is it doesn't hurt anybody that's not a toxin it's right right poison. no the new one the, the new one, one that what we're fred, working with um uh, fred had right. i called you a doctor you are a doctor you're <laughs> a doctor <laughs> the tourmaline dr tourmaline, tourmaline. Dr. tourmaline. So. i announce you dr tourmaline thank you, thank you. <laughs> so anyway i developed a method, a chemical bonding agent to hold the quaternary antimicrobial fast to medical scrubs, doctors' coats, curtains, bed sheets, all different types of fabrics and fibers. So this gives us a much safer alternative to killing bacteria since it's a mechanical kill. Now, a mechanical kill this is uh, a microscopic bed of spikes. So when the microorganism or bacteria lands on what's coated, uh, it punctures the cell wall and delivers a little salt-based electrical charge that eradicates the bacteria. Wow. Dr. Mike, get... Give us give us a little medical on the watermelon tourmaline. Do you have any medical? Oh, absolutely. Well, it's not really medical. It's scientific. Scientific. Okay, because it really wasn't being used medically in the past. Because uh, now beads were being used and stones were being used for thousands of years. 
Tourmaline has been used in Eastern what, medicine. What is it? St you're talking about regular stones and regular beads? Well, beads of tourmaline. Which is this? Which this is. Which well, is? no, this is uh, powder. This is micron and nano sized particles of tourmaline. Now, just to let you know what that means is that a meter is a little bit more than three feet. One one thousandth of a meter is a millimeter. One one thousandth of a millimeter is a micron. And one one thousandth of a micron is a nanometer. So we're able to take the nanometer particles and the National Institute of Health, I found this in PubMed.gov, it's a website, and they did a study and they found that the smaller the tourmaline particle is, the more powerful the energy. Wow. So if you have a gram of nanometer sized particles, it has a lot more energy than a gram stone of tourmaline. Now, so tell us a little bit about the tourmaline that's itself. That's what I was do, yeah. The tourmaline itself, there's all different types of tourmaline. It's a very complex mineral because there's a lot of different varieties. There's watermelon tourmaline, which looks like a watermelon because it's got green on the outside and pink on the inside. It looks like a picture over here. of the rock here. With a little white, which looks like the watermelon rind. So it does mm -hmm. resemble a watermelon. Now, when I first heard, and a few other doctors told me the same thing, when we first heard uh, watermelon tourmaline, we thought it was tourmaline that was a mineral because watermelons have a lot of minerals in them that came from a watermelon. Okay. But then okay. I remember my wife had a tourmaline hair dryer. And the reason why that's used in a hair dryer is that it stops the static cling of the hair wow. when you use it. I'm, uh, you're really, you're, like you're speaking things that on, like we said, in the back of, um, of producing, you know, a, a hair dryer. Like who knew that they use that and it, that they use that stuff in a hair dryer? In a hair dryer, right. Pretty incredible. It pretty, is. pretty incredible, pretty knowledgeable. But there's three different energies that make tourmaline so special. And there are a lot of different minerals that do not have north and south poles on them. Like a magnet, like the earth has a north and a south pole. And a you know, positive and negative pole. And what happens is that each little crystal, no matter what the size, even if it's a nanometer size, it will create an ionic field around it. Just like the Earth creates the Van Allen belt that protects us from cosmic radiation. And that's what produces the northern lights. Right. Now, by the way, the Earth is supposed to flip the north and south pole in the not so distant future. I'm not sure if it could be our lifetimes. It's, been, it's flipped about 10,000 times since the beginning of the Earth. Really? And when that happens, the compasses will be uh, you know, facing south wow. instead of north. So anyway, Dr. that's Mike, a how do you, story for How do you day. register all that stuff in your brain? Well, I used to be a science like, teacher before. But you have so much information registered in your brain. Like, it just floors me. I mean, don't you agree? Oh, he floors me all right. I, 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 <laughs> I'm just like, I get, so, I get so amazed by your knowledge and oh, thank your, you. your, your just education. And, and you do speak in, um, you know, uh, people terms, but probably because you have this. So I used to teach seventh yeah. graders. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then that, the but that then. was preparing you for the work you're doing here right. now. Well, that's why we're a, a, a great mix, a great combination. Yeah. You know, I learned about this, and, and really, just to go back uh, a touch, uh, the antimicrobial bonding led to mineral bonding. The antimicrobial bonding led to mineral bonding. bonding. In other words, once I learned how to take this high-level right. mechanical kill antimicrobial, I started working with minerals and taking this rock and jet pulverizing it, actually water jet pulverizing it, to a nanoparticle. So once we developed this tourmaline dust, I then started infusing it into fabrics and fibers, just like I did with the antimicrobial. Wow. Now, I have, a, I have a people question. Go right ahead. This is a simple people question that they're probably going. Simple. Yes, it's a simple <laughs> one. Go, they're probably thinking to themselves, how did you find watermelon tourmaline, tourmaline? I mean, how did you find it? I mean, out of all the rocks in the entire world, how did you stumble across something like watermelon tourmaline? Well, it was um, when I started seeing the power of antimicrobial and doing biological testings with third-party laboratories with University of North Carolina. I would create a fabric with the antimicrobial, 
send it to them, I'd do wash tests, send it to them, and then they would colonate it with MRSA. And we would look at the rapid kill. So once I started... How did you... How did, I'm just... Yeah, I once I started yeah. learning about how good the antimicrobial worked, uh, I wanted to see if there was anything that could do the same for pain or pain relief, which led me to doing a little bit of research into tourmaline. Uh, I started using black tourmaline first and saw the success that I was having just making some simple bandages for friends. Wow. Now, what is tourmaline? Like, like now you're telling me there's two kinds of tourmaline. You're well, telling there's me many types, there's many types. Okay, so tell us, tell us, tell us, educate us a little bit on what is tourmaline. Okay, well, tourmaline is one of the most complex minerals that we have. And it has a uh, six atom ring and it creates different crystals. Some of them are like prisms, some of them are slender, some of them more like columns, they're three different basic crystal type structures. And they have a lot of different elements. They could have iron, they could have lithium, oxygen, boron, all kinds of different atoms form it. So each specific tourmaline, going back to Eastern medicine, they say the different tourmalines are good for different treatments of Illness. different conditions, wow. different illnesses. Wow. But wow. we were trying to find uh, you know, what works the best, but, uh, you know, I think all the tourmalines pretty much have some healing ability, some healing right. powers. Right, But right, we right. mostly have been using watermelon tourmaline. Right. Now, you and found the watermelon tourmaline because you used black tourmaline I initially. I used black initially, and I had purchased a few different types of tourmalines, had them pulverized to dust. i uh, worked with white, I've worked with black, and now watermelon. And really, the reason being is I'm... I'm a little active uh, as far as sports, and I've had my injuries and, uh, you know, a few, you know, at least a dozen more or so surgeries. Right, right. And uh, I had, uh, I forgot what surgery, maybe a knee surgery I had had at one time and started experimenting with myself mm. to see what gave me better inflammation reduction right. and pain relief. So what I did is I was making different bandages. I made watermelon bandages. I made white tourmaline bandages. I made black tourmaline bandages. And I would experiment with my own pain tolerances. Right. Now, this, this all came about because you said you were, uh, the colleges were doing research? Well, not, we're going to do research with colleges. Oh, so because I, so, I misunderstood you. I thought it was I, the antimicrobials. The antimicrobials. Anti the bacteria killing, but now okay, the, but that the knowledge you, of, that, right. of bonding the antimicrobial okay. gave me the ability to bond minerals. Okay, okay. now I understand. Now okay. we understand. No, now we understand. No, because it's, it's, really, it's really complex. I, like I keep saying to you, you guys are in that world, and you understand it, but... I think it was very important to lay the groundwork for us to understand. And as complex as it may be. It's simple. It's as simple as putting this on, no. feeling better, reducing uh, your pain, uh, and either, like say, reducing or eliminating the need for narcotic medications. And I, I've worn and this. It's consistent. And I've worn the knee, and I, I have the blanket. And the tape. You've used and the tape. tape. And the tape. And the yeah. tape, and it is. It's very successful. And I really believe in minerals. And I try to. St I do not take any medicines. You know, I try to go the holistic way and the organic way to make sure that I'm not putting anything into my body that doesn't need to be in my body. That's why it was very important for me to understand that this was a mineral. This was something that was going to help me. That's not going to hurt me. You know. So. What's the mineral that gets you better, not from the inside out, from the outside in? Yes. Because the yes. energy given off by the mineral. And people get concerned sometimes because some of the tourmalines have aluminum in it. They say, oh, aluminum causes Alzheimer's. Right. But it never enters the body. Right, right. It's the energy right. entering the body. So you're not going to get a, if you're an athlete, you're never going to get a positive drug test. Right, right. Because there's nothing entering the body but energy. Right. Now, there's three energies that enter the body. One I mentioned before, which is the ionic field. The ionic, ionic field creates more negative ions in the body. Negative ions produce more of an anti-inflammatory effect. They are anti-aging, the scavenge free radicals. Tourmaline has three energies. Okay, the first energy you mentioned before, which is the ionic field. 
It scavenges free radicals, reduces inflammation. It uh, creates more of an alkaline pH in the body, which is very much associated with healing and recovery. And the second one, oh, that's actually called the piezoelectric effect. That's the scientific. What is that? Piezoelectric or piezoelectric, pronounced two different ways, like tomato, tomato. Yeah, yeah. Depends so which what side. does that mean? What it means is that, uh, well, piezoelectric is actually converting one form of an energy into another. Okay. My adjusting machine does a piezoelectric effect. It turns electrical energy into mechanical energy. Right. So converting one energy into another is piezoelectric. So taking your body heat and turning it into far infrared and introducing it in your body. So well, the, second it, energy, the second energy we have is far infrared. And that's actually why our company is FIR Industries, far infrared industries, because it's basically the biggest healing ability it has is the far infrared. And I use uh, laser therapy. So it's basically like having a low level laser on you 24 seven. Right. When you're right. wearing it, right. tourmaline. So I, the other analogy I came up with a while ago, which I love this analogy, it's like taking a McDonald's hamburger, which is the body heat, and turning it into uh, grass-fed filet mignon, which is the far infrared. It's a much more healing energy. Right, right. And it's why it feels very cozy, why people, when they wear the socks and have the blanket, it keeps them very warm. That's why we're going to be, in the near future, producing outerwear, like coats, and it'll be feeling like it's almost has a heating element in it. Yeah, or even long johns. Yeah. Wow. You know? wow, wow. Which we don't yet have that, but we do have a patent on it, and we'll be working on it Are soon. You, you did get a patent on it? Yeah, we have patents on We have all kinds of patents. I've become an expert on patenting, on, on patenting things. Yeah. The first one took us like a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, but once we got it down. But the last one we did took about 15 minutes. Right, so. Can you tell us about the patent? Or would well, that sure, be... I can tell you. No, it's not a violation of anything because we have patents already. We have the patents we have now is on the the actual process of the uh, infusion process, which with either antimicrobials or with minerals. Uh, minerals. So it's, nobody else can do that. Right. That's it, why you patent that's things. The, yeah. Um, yeah. Or okay. intellectual right. property. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Fred. Well, you're the one that discovered it. Well, right. That's what I was gonna say. Fred is the first person to discover how to actually take these tiny particles and bond and fuse it into fabrics and fibers. And some other companies, what they do is they take kind of inferior types of minerals. Well, they, they'll mix, they'll take some minerals and they'll mix it in what's called a print vehicle, what they put on t-shirts, right. where they, they'll just take a layer and put a fine layer over the top of a shirt and it could have a little bit of copper, a little bit of silver. Right. You know, they're doing, they're, they're, they're they're not using what we use. We're using natural products. Right. Under right. Armour. Under they're Armour. They're, that, they're yeah. using ceramics, which is man-made. Well, they have Tom Brady, though, as a spokesperson. So, but we have Fred. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a lot better than Brady. I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm going to win a lot more Super Bowls. Yes, yes. So you're, you're running your own. I'm Super winning Bowl. my own. You're running your own. And Super then Bowl. another thing they do is they take ceramic fibers and put cheap socks. They weave well, it. Well, what they do is, is it's cheap. It's like aluminum minerals, uh, you know, minerals, the silicon, like sand. Uh, silicon is in sand. But they only produce a little bit of far infrared. And we're eventually going to be doing tests, which are kind of expensive. We haven't done it yet, but we want to take our products and their products and see actually how much far infrared is given off. Well, we do see it with thermography. We do see it with thermography, wow. right, because we wow. use thermography, which is relatively inexpensive to... Uh, do these tests, and we've been getting great results with thermography, which basically picks up the infrared from an object or the body heat uh, from an object. That's why when I wore it and I wear it, I feel the heat from it. I really do. Yeah, that's what right. I. That's what that was the first mm -hmm. thing I said to both of you. Like I could just feel the warmth and the, and, and, the, and, the, and the comfort and the heat, and, and, and that is important, you know. Well, to, we can for perceive healing. that because it's warm. But that's the one form of energy we can perceive very easily, and most people do. The ionic field that's produced, which is a lot more subtle, and increase the negative ions, and it's like grounding sheets also as the same type of thing, or salt lamps, which I have a salt lamp in my office too, produce more negative ions because that's very much associated with healing and with health. Yeah, but my, um, uh, the way I look at it, and I, I have like, um, I don't know, a, a different view, I guess. 
I think that the fact that it's warm and loving, to me, loving it's is cozy. Warm. Medicinal. It's, <laughs> medicinal. it's, it's medicinal. It's, it really allows for you to accept what the in minerals are doing to uh -huh. your body. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And let's take humans Because if it was aside, cold and it hurt you, you won't want to do it. Right. Well, we well, can articulate this. Yeah. 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 See, we can articulate this as humans. As humans. Right. But animals oh, okay. tell the story. And, and uh, we've developed a very nice line of equestrian products now what what got you into what what had because i know i know you guys have been developing you know for the for a knee brace and elbow brace and blankets and and we'll talk about the tape in a little bit but how did you get to animals well knowing the success i was having with humans and also with my own pets uh, i had two dogs that passed away from cancer now I didn't stop them from passing away, but I made them more comfortable. And I truly believe that they did live longer than their expectations. So uh, after I saw the effects I was having with my animals, uh, I was introduced to a equestrian bandage manufacturer. Equestrian, okay. Now, he makes all different types of bandages for horses, polo wraps, nobo wraps, uh, a Patterson business. And I was introduced to him. We, at Patterson, I was New Jersey. In Patterson, New Jersey. Uh, Two minutes from my house. I live in Hawthorne. Vax bandages. And we had taken his already established 50-year business products, and I started making a therapeutic aspect. Huh. of equestrian bandages. So there's a, not there's just a for support. Not just for support, but now uh, with the healing tourmaline minerals in it, and we're just getting tremendous results and from just, these animals. And just to mention, uh, we were at a chiropractic seminar a few weeks ago, and uh, Fred took some of our tape, and he put it on one of the doctor's shirts. Over the shirt. Over the shirt. Not even on the skin. Okay. And he felt better. He was blown away because it worked right through the shirt. Right, right. And I've even had this this sleeve itself. I've healed my Achilles uh, through a cast. Right, So right. I put it right over a cast. So the energy is subtle but powerful. And, you know, the truth is that um, I have them in my home. Mm -hmm. And even when I don't have them on, I feel them. Right. Like they're just wonderful to have around you whether they're on your body or in your general area they really are healing they're very right. you know holistic and very very soothing very warming and, and you are who you hang around with mm -hmm. whether it's you know um, whether you have things around you or, or minerals or, or people or whatever you have want to have around you it really is important to watch what you have surrounding your body and on your body is doubly important. Well, the animals uh, really gravitate towards the dogs and the cats, the house pets, yeah. because I think they really sense the ionic field because the animals migrate using the electromagnetic field of the earth so they can, I believe they can sense it. Right. And now we're, well, Tony's coming up with a uh, whole Who's line. Tony? Uh, Tony Back for back and Patterson. Bandages. Oh, okay. But so, well, his dog is Tony, too, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I... Yeah, yeah, Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony. Well, You're Tony, talking he, about a dog. Well, he's a, a consultant for the equestrian line, uh, his dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He works yeah, for yeah. us, too. Yeah. <laughs> he's your uh, your mascot. Yes. He's your a consultant, mascot. too. He's uh, a... But uh, what he's doing now for us is he's making uh, pet pads, which are going to be the size of different uh, pet crates with rounded corners. And they can go into the pet crate for transport because it creates a situation where it brings their anxiety down, makes it feel right, better after being right, transported. Right. That'd be awesome. As well as on the floor yeah, or in the pet beds. Arthritic conditions right, as, right. as animals, animals have, get older. Yes. Right. But any people that we've sold, and we've sold a few hundred blankets together uh, since we've been working together. Anyone that's had a pet that's bought our blankets, and even when I started with blankets, the animal naturally goes to the blanket. Mm. If I put one tourmaline-treated blanket on the floor and another one that's not tourmaline, 
I'd have my dogs always go to the same one. What was the first item that you produced? Was it tape? Well, actually, my very first item was an ankle brace for someone, just, just like this, that, which I had treated. Uh, my second item was a blanket for a young man that had a traumatic, traumatic injury. He was playing by a quarry, and a 3,000-pound boulder came loose and landed on his legs. He had multiple fractures, compound fractures, lost most of the blood in his body. I thought he was going to lose his legs. He thought he was going to lose his legs. Uh, so I said to his parents, listen, I had just come up with something that I really think is going to help your son. Uh, allow me to put a blanket on him. And he was, after four or five surgeries in two days, the kid was barely conscious. Uh, I had put in, made a blanket. I had put it on this young boy, mm -hmm. 16 years old, and in 24 hours, uh, one of his legs was back down to its normal size wow. after having a rod in his femur and his tibia and fibia surgically repaired with screws and pins. Uh, using the blanket, and I also made washcloths and towels for his right leg because his right ankle and foot had multiple compound fractures right, and artery right. damage. And the idea was, with what I knew, it could bring blood flow to the area. So I put the heavier towels on his legs and ankles, and within a few days, he was off of his morphine drip. Wow. And uh, he did wind up losing his big toe, but stuck better to a, I mean, not better than his leg. Whole leg. Right. Better than the whole leg. So then... Uh, I had stuck with him. Uh, really, these people I take on as my patient, you, you know, and working with them to help them heal better and faster. And came up with the knee braces for him, ankle braces, and I even made sweatpants, which, you know, I'll make sweatpants for people that have hip injuries. Mm -hmm. We spoke about wanting to work together for my foundation, which would be awesome to, right. with our little, our little behind the scenes. I don't want to spread too much information with Nancy uh, Margrini, who and I are trying to come up with a clothing line um, and for stroke patients that... It, uh, therapeutic in clothing. And yes. that's really yes. what yes. We're, we're all about, is therapeutic wearable products and accelerating healing and taking pain away. Right. Right. So and you both your purposes are really to help people. That really is the bottom line to everything. That is what started this whole thought pattern to am I correct? That that's correct. And uh you know, I'm I, I couldn't be happier than for my path to have led uh, to give us this outcome. Yeah. And yeah. I'm blessed. I'm, yeah. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Well, we're lucky to know both of you. You guys are awesome. Um, so what is, so where are you right now in the pattern, like in the right process? Right I just want to mention the third energy that's given okay. off is what's called a pyroelectric effect. And what that means is a very mild flow of electrons that occur. That's why it was sometimes when people put on the tape, they feel tingling. But some people feel that some people don't. And that's, so there's three. I felt it. I, th I felt it when you put it on me. I felt well, it. Well, that's the three energies. Yeah. You have the far infrared. You have the ions, and you have the electrical flow. And that's what makes us different because no other company has all that except us. Right. And also, we're the only company that can take someone's clothing and infuse it with tourmaline, infuse, may turn it into a therapy because these other people have to actually weave the fibers in before they cut the material right. to so produce it. So you could it. take something could that's take a already made garment. a made I could garment. Take a made garment and infuse our chemistry and have it be durable. But but does that does that does that um does one activate the other like if there's if there's uh, m microbials or something in a ready-made fabric that's not good and you're adding it yours it. as it really to doesn't do no, no. Okay. It's, once this is added with my bonding agent and heat set because that's the key is heat setting the chemistry once it's heat set it's you know uh, for pretty much for the life of the garment. Mm -hmm going to have the tourmaline mm. energy okay so you guys have really i i don't i think you're still growing you know not gro not growing in 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 the popularity and awareness but growing in still um crafting and molding well, what it is your 
what you're We're doing. Just getting started. Right. Really. And actually, I said to Fred before, and you know, I, I, I love, I admire both of you for this because you're kind of just, um, wing, you're not winging it. That's, Michael gets mad when I say winging it. But winging it to me is like, listen, you do your homework. You, 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 you move forward, you, you present, you talk, you, and you learn from being involved. And then you go back to your situation. You evaluate where you are, what you can better, what you can do right, what you've done wrong, and then you better it, and then you move forward again. Am I correct in my well, thought? Well, very much so. And, and the advantage of having a partner, as Dr. Evangel, he's bringing patience to me. Now, I've got a lot of experience with a lot of different illnesses that I've dealt with before we've met. Right. Now I'm encountering new people, new patients, and we're learning new ways to help different illnesses better. Right. Uh, one of them, which we're very excited with and about, is diabetic wound care in healing ulcers. Diabetic wound care. Or wound care in general, but... Usually diabetics are the ones that suffer the most because of their neuropathy. That's well, not my patients that are doing that because I can't treat them. These are other doctors that are treating them because chiropractically we can't treat wounds. Right, right, but we're right, right. with other people that are doing right, that. Yeah, right, yeah, right. So, but that's a new and exciting area that we're having a tremendous amount of sex, success with in accelerating uh, diabetic wound care. Wow, wow. And, and, and we spoke about um, supporting, they're actually going to be at the, my telephone. These are the bandages that we use over wounds. Right, right, right. These are right, just regular right. Coban self-adhering bandages. Right, and I've had this put on me as right, well, on that, my knee. That in your knee. And, and my elbow. In your elbow. Yes. And uh, very effective. Uh, so this is just one of the new items that we've developed together. Yeah. And, and to answer the question you started to ask before, where we're going from here, as far as we're have our pet line we talked about before and you know mostly like dogs cats horses for right now and then with humans we're working with uh you know the blankets we have also pillowcases uh clothing that we've been infusing but we'd like to eventually be selling a clothing line not only for the medical aspects of it but also for the sports world because uh recovery of athletes being right. able to right. get over their uh, the damage to the body from competitions and be able to, uh, and I believe that, you know, now they have a, a four-man rotation, uh, I'm sorry, a five-man rotation in uh, baseball pitchers. I think that they could pitch at least one day sooner if they right. wore tourmaline all the time, cut at least a day off, and maybe even two. And, and we're working with athletes as right, well. Right. So we're gaining more knowledge and information as each day goes on. Right, right. Taking Baseball players, hockey players, football, uh, and it's important track because yeah, athletes. because because medicines when you when you take something to like like um, they wanted to put cortisone in my in my knee, and I didn't want them to do that because I don't want to start inject injecting things into my body because then it affects other things and down the road, you know, it, it just it affects your body. So this is something that does not. Um, hinder you. There's no side effects. There's no side effects. No side effects. And it, it's, it's natural. Yes, it's natural. And it, the best part about it is it helps the body heal itself. Yes, yes, yes. So, the, yes. you know, no yes. drugs involved. It's it's a wearable. It's, it's as simple as could possibly mm -hmm. be. And the benefits are known. So what, uh, what um, you know, if you have this platform, like, because we're going to put this on our, our, um, on our, uh, our website and on the YouTube and on Facebook, and it's going to go viral. So who would you want to reach out to? Like, I, I mean, Dr. Oz is the first one that came to me, like to reach out to Dr. Oz and be on his show and talk about your, what you're doing. And we're not ready for that quite yet. Well, yeah, but, but we will we're, be we're, we're getting close. We're, getting close. we're developing, you know, I want to develop and, and with many of our, products we've developed great protocols uh great statistics great testimonials so with uh now that i'm working with wound care doing the same thing uh healing people yeah. and then showing from day one to day 30 what uh i've done recently with a woman in california she had a wound that got worse and no doctor could help her for the past 10 months. Right. She suffered to the point where this would grow. She could have lost her, her foot. Right. 
And in one month, she's almost been completely healed. Right. So these are the scientific things that we want to show people. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Even though it's great to talk about it, we're going to prove it. But I think, I mean, from what I hear from both of you, you guys have a a lot of success stories already. A lot, right. A lot of success stories. I got a patient that has Lyme disease, and she would get neuropathies, which is nerve pain, tremendous nerve pain in her feet. Uh, And within a few days, wearing the socks and having the blanket, the nerve pain was virtually gone Yeah. within a few days. And this is something she's suffering from for over a year. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, I mean, being the outside looking in, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, you reaching out to Dr. No, Oz and, and, and saying, like, this is where we are, this is what we're doing, you know, and I think, they, I, think, I think it would be exciting for somebody to be on board, you know, to support you and to work with you. And, and the, other, the other thing is, I don't know financially, but Shark Tank, you know. To, to go on Shark Tank and get a They want backer. too much, usually. Yeah, well. well. We, we have many different uh, different aspects yeah. of, of this chemistry that we're going to be exploiting in the future. Really, working with healthcare is yeah. our number one yeah. priority. Yeah. So we'll have our t- opportunity to play with those shark boys. Yeah. But, but, but I know that you want to work with healthcare, but that's people that are sick after. That's after you've already. That's almost like, you know, 80% of strokes are preventable. Now, how do we prevent that 80% of getting a stroke? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, we want to help people after they've had a stroke, you know, that, and we want to we wanna encourage them. We want to we wanna support them. But if 80% of people can not suffer a stroke, how do we gear towards those 80% to keep them from that? That's the, so you guys have a whole, I mean, to, to use this even without being sick. Well, to preventative maintain, measures. Preventative that's measures exactly. Is, is an incredible thing to to heal the world before they even get sick is like I think it's like the best thing you could possibly think about and, doing and really there are a lot of prevention preventable measures that we've already accomplished so these are just things that we're learning and growing and as new patients and new people and new illnesses are brought to us uh, we both jump on it right away yeah and yeah. Uh, it's exciting to help uh, people that have not had help in the past or that have really run into dead ends. Right. So to either make a tremendous improvement or even small improvements uh, where people have not had any luck yeah. really is, is tremendously gratifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of ways, That's it. this is a very, as you're aware, the, the reaction can be very fast. Yes. With your arm, with the atrophy, yes. it's made yes. a difference yes. right before your eyes. Yes. So... When you make changes like that for people, they're more amenable to yeah. take notice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I think it's important. You know, I agree with you, and I think it's important to get the word out, and that's why we want to partner with you guys mm-hmm. to get the word out so that we can start recovery. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It was you. a blessing, both of you, but we have to do one thing. We have to blow kisses. Ready? Okay. Okay. God bless everybody. <laughs>